Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in statics and we're going to do problem 4.77, okay? It says two couples act on the beam as shown. If F is equal to 150 pounds, determine the resultant couple moment, okay? So we got our little beam, the force, two couple forces in this direction, going like this, and then we had these 200 pound forces going one to the left and the other one to the right, okay? So these guys are pound. We need to label our force. Now, they want to determine the moment, so we're going to do our summatory of forces of moment for this beam. Okay? So, I'm going to start with F. So, if we want to find the moment that my force F is doing, I need to find the amount that's going into the Y direction and the amount going in the x direction which are opposite but the same magnitude for our f down here okay so for my f of y which this is my f of x this is my f of x but in the negative and f of y in the negative direction okay so if for our f of y we know by similar triangle that I have 3 out of 5 of my force F multiply by the distance, okay? So what is the distance between these two F of Y? Which is 4 feet, okay? So we're going to multiply this guy by 4 feet. Now, what's the direction of these two forces that are going like this? So if I keep moving my arms, they are in the counterclockwise, so I'm gonna leave them positive. I'm gonna put counterclockwise positive, okay? So, just so you guys know, counterclockwise, counterclockwise is positive, okay? Now, what about the x direction? So, in the x direction, I will have four out of five of my force F multiply by, so have these two forces that are like this and they're separated by 1.5 feet. Now what's the direction of these guys? So they're going like this. So they're also counterclockwise, so that makes them positive, okay? Now what about our 200 pounds one? So the 200 pounds have the same distance, so we have that this is going to be 200 multiply by the distance which is 1.5 feet okay now what is the direction of this one these ones are like this so they are counterclockwise and for a counterclockwise I'm gonna put a negative direction now if we do this this is going to be equal to so if we remember the f is equal to 150 we can do this that it's going to be 3 out of 5 multiplied by 150 and also multiplied by 4 will give me 360 for this guy. So this guy is 360. So we got that the summatory of my moment is going to be equal to 360 pound per feet plus in this case, we're going to have 4 out of 5 multiplied by my F, which is 150, multiplied by 1.5. And that gives me 180, also pound per feet. And we're going to have minus, so we did this one, we're left with this one, 200 multiplied by 1.5, it gives me 300 pounds per feet. And what is this equal to? So if we add these guys up, we get 360 plus 180 minus 300, and that gives me 240 pounds per foot. Okay? That was it for this question, guys. If you guys have any questions or any comments, just please comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.